Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a 30 minute full body HIIT workout with weights. There are no repeats and there's also no jumping. Today I'm using a light set of dumbbells. So I have a set of 10 pound dumbbells, but use whatever you have available to you at home and whatever weight suits your strength levels. If you are not already, make sure to follow me on Instagram. There I post extra workouts, behind the scenes, all that fun stuff. Make sure that you can see your screen so you can follow along with me and without further do let's get to it all right we're gonna begin with some step jacks so stepping it out stepping it in we're kind of just warming ourselves up here a little bit each of our exercises today are gonna to be 40 seconds on and I'll give you a 20 second rest in between so you have time to change positions we have 30 minutes and we have 30 different exercises so it's gonna be impossible to get bored with this workout and you only gotta do each exercise once. So that's kind of motivation in itself to keep going. Nice job. Next up, we're gonna try and keep this an active rest as well. So try and keep moving. Um, we're gonna do some bum kicks. So stepping from side to side, you're gonna try and get that heel as close as you can to your bum. We're gonna warm up those hamstrings. You can also add in some arms here just to kind of warm up the upper body a little bit. Nice job. Next up, we're gonna do some power half lunges. That's what I'm gonna call them. You're gonna come back kind of into this like running stance half lunge position. Then you're gonna kick the knee up, drive the knee up, and squeeze that core. So come down, exhale as you bring the knee up. Make sure you're nice and strong on that supporting leg. Engaging the core as the knee comes up. Nice job, shake it out. That supporting leg, that supporting glute should kind of start to feel it a little bit. We're gonna do the other side. Here we go, other leg. really squeezing this glute as I bring my knee up. Nice job. Next up, we're gonna warm up the core. So we're gonna do a standing star crunch. So you're gonna come into this nice big star position and you're gonna step from side to side, reaching for opposite toe or you can reach for the knee. Just make sure you're bringing, <clears throat> make sure you're bringing that leg right up in front of you so you're really reaching for the toe or reaching for the knee.
nice job. All right, next up we're gonna do just some regular body weight squats. Again, we're kind of like easing into our workout today. So regular squat stance, a little bit wider than shoulder width. You're gonna come down pressing into the outsides of the feet and sitting into the heels. Coming up, when you come up from your squat, you are not hinging your hips all the way forward. You're keeping the body angled slightly forward, keeping the glutes engaged, knees are slightly bent. Good job. Next up, you're rising up on the tippy toes and arms come up above your head. Then you're gonna reach for opposite toe, sending this arm straight back. When you're down here, I want you to think about leading with those lower abs as you come down. Here we go. Legs are nice and straight. You're squeezing those calves as you send the arms up. Thinking about the abs as you come down. down into a high plank. So you're gonna be in a high plank and you're just going to tap the toe in one at a time. I'm gonna do this without disturbing you, I'm sorry. So you're gonna tap the toe in, bring it back to center. So you wanna keep that body in a nice straight line just move that leg. down on your back. That's what you get for sleeping on my mat. I'm gonna breathe heavy all over you. We're gonna do some cocoon. So you're gonna extend everything nice and long. Then you're gonna bring everything in for a crunch and you're almost doing a reverse crunch here with your lower half. Extend, bring it in. You can also do this with the knees bent, like so. Good, staying down here on the ground, we're just going to do some regular glute bridges. So, I know some of these exercises may seem really simple, but I really want you to focus on form. If you're doing things with intention and doing it with proper form, you're gonna feel it so much more rather than just kind of flying through these glute bridges. So press the low back into the floor to start off with, then send those hips all the way to the sky, and you're gonna squeeze those glutes sitting into the heels and control, try and hold that squeeze as long as possible, tap the booty down, send it back up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good, standing up. You're gonna grab your weights. We are going to do a squat with an overhead press. So palms are gonna stay facing each other. Weights are kind of sitting here on your shoulders, elbows are up. You're gonna sit down deep into the squat as you come up from the squat. Arms come up and we're not locking our elbows out here. We're keeping a slight bend. Bring it down, squat. All the way up, down. So this is like a nice explosive movement at the top of your squat. Don't forget about that core. Good work. Next up, you're gonna hold these weights still. You're gonna do a deadlift, so feet are shoulder width apart. You're gonna sit back into the heels, hinging at the hips. Coming down, we're not dropping our dumbbells all the way down to the floor like this. We wanna keep the back nice and flat. Coming up, then from here, you're gonna do an upright row. So you're gonna lead with those elbows, sending them out to the sides, back down. Down for a deadlift, sending the hips back, squeeze the glutes, knees are bent, arms up. Nice job. You're gonna drop one dumbbell, although you could do this with two, it's totally up to you. I'm just gonna do it with one. You're gonna hold the dumbbell like this. You're gonna come into a side lunge. We're gonna go to the right first, so you're gonna lunge to the right. Then from here, pressing off, left foot is your supporting leg, you're gonna come down to a curtsy squat. Come back to center, find your balance if you need to. To the side, center. Center. So keep that chest lifted. Try and really sit back into this heel when you're in the side lunge. Press through that glute. job we're gonna take a rest and we're gonna do the same thing just on the other side Nice work. All right, sticking with the one dumbbell. You're gonna hold it like this with two hands. We're gonna do almost like a kettlebell swing, if you've ever done a kettlebell swing before. So you're hinging at the hips here. Then you're going to send the hips forward. As you send the hips forward, dumbbell comes up above head. We're really focusing on core here. So we're focusing on controlling that dumbbell. Squeezing the glutes.
Nice work, let's head to the ground. You're gonna come into a high plank. You're gonna have to move, honey. I'm sorry, at least just over there. Thank you. High plank, we're gonna do a commando, so you're gonna come down to your elbows, down, down. Up, up, nice. Then we're gonna step it out, out, in, in. Down, down, up, up, step it out, and in. So keeping everything in a straight line, only moving one limb at a time. You're gonna grab one weight, come down sitting on your bum. We're gonna do some ab twists with a weight. If you have not yet mastered an ab twist, you are not going to add the weight today. You're just gonna do some regular twists. Sitting back, tapping the hands to either side, or you're doing the same with a weight. Good work. Continuing with abs. With one weight, you're gonna come down on your back. Woo. Dumbbell is either directly above, like arms straight like this. You're gonna do a full sit up, coming up to a flat back. Or if that's too much, you're just gonna hold the dumbbell here. Come down all the way up. Try and keep those feet planted into the floor and control. Nice work. Coming back into plank using one dumbbell. We are going to do some plank pull throughs with the dumbbell. So dumbbell's gonna start off to one side. You're gonna reach with your opposite hand in high plank and pull the dumbbell to either side without swaying the body. This is very over dramatic, but it's very easy to kind of lift the dumbbell like this. We wanna keep everything nice and stable. Nice work, set that weight aside for now. Staying down here on the ground, you're gonna come to one side on your forearm and on your knee. We're gonna do some side crunch, side planks. So, coming up, trying to keep this side nice and lifted. Everything here is nice and straight, then you bring it in for a crunch without dropping this hip. Keep that nice and lifted and extend. So this one is all about control. Nice 
nice work. Give yourself a 20 second rest. We're gonna flip it over to the other side. Make sure when you're getting into this plank that you're stacking shoulder over top of elbow so you're not like way up here in this plank because that's really gonna destroy that shoulder. So make sure you're stacked nice and straight first. Then lift the leg, crunch it in. more seconds keep those hips nice and high Whew, nice work all right you're gonna come to one end of your mat with one dumbbell the dumbbell is gonna go in between your feet on the floor you're going to do a plank walkout so you're gonna walk out to a high plank, make sure you hit this plank position nice and straight, walk it back in, pick the dumbbell up, use those glutes to stand up, overhead press. Back down, sitting down into the heels, walk it out. Nice work. We're going to grab both dumbbells. Whew. We're going to hold the dumbbells, palms facing each other. You're going to do a squat. As you come up from your squat, you're going to lock those elbows where they are. Bring the dumbbells up for a hammer curl. Control down. Here we go. that chest nice and lifted as you come down to that squat. work. We're going to hold on to these dumbbells. We're going to do some single leg RDLs. So you can do this with your leg lifted in the air. So choose a supporting side for your first interval. Coming down again, nice flat back. We're not dropping everything down to the floor. Everything's in a straight line. Push through that supporting leg to come to center. Otherwise, this here is going to hold your balance. Same thing down to the flat back, bring it up. Lifting your legs, really gonna test your balance. We'll also work your core. Give that supporting leg a shake. We're gonna do the other side. Oh, you think your plan worked out, but I know what's coming your way. So you think you're better than everyone. So getting ready, find that balance. It really helps me to choose a spot on the floor in front of me. Keep my eyes kind of locked on that spot and come up. Every time I say that. I'm telling people how to find their balance and I always lose my balance.
keeping my cool But when you need there's nothing that I can do When you walk in Nice job. We're gonna continue using both weights, so keep those nearby. We're gonna do some reverse lunges. Nice and simple, we're just gonna alternate legs, so standing at the top of your mat. <clears throat> You're gonna step back into a lunge, making sure we're not stepping way out here and we're not too close. Coming down here, knees not going too far over toes. Pressing through your supporting heel to come up. Again, keeping that body angled slightly forward, keeping the tension on the glute. Stepping back other side. We're gonna put one dumbbell down. We have three more rounds to go, I believe. We are I'm trying to make sure that I didn't miss anything. We're gonna do some standing crunches holding the dumbbell. So bringing the knee up, it's almost like you're marching, and you're kind of doing this crunching action, keeping the core nice and tight. job. All right, next we're going to do some dumbbell snatches. So one arm's going to be out to the side, the other arm's going to hold the dumbbell. This foot is going to be facing to this wall. You're going to come down, not into a full lunge, just here to kind of support yourself. Then nice big explosive movement, dumbbell comes above head, keeping the arm bent. Not too bent, just not fully extended. Work. We're gonna do the same thing, other side. Yeah, great feeling like you're gonna leave. Just one shot of Hennessy. Next thing you're all over me, all over me. We act like we're hard to get, but we know this is imminent. Cause we keep falling right into it, right into it. Here we go. Nice job. All right, we have one minute left. We are gonna come to the ground. We're gonna end it off with some push-ups. So you're gonna do these on your knees, on your toes. You can do half push-ups, you can hold a plank, whatever you like, but try and challenge yourself because it's our last minute. Started out being innocent, be 
Big words promised everything, but all along we knew this was bad, this was bad. Oh, gotta end, gotta make it stop. We can't pretend that this is love, but then we touch and it all gets lost in pink clouds and fairy dust. We were only fun till you showed me love. Oh, 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 oh. Is it guys great job i hope you enjoyed this 30 minute no repeat workout i hope you didn't get bored there's literally no way you got bored because it was so fast paced if you enjoyed this one give it a thumbs up let me know how you did in the comments if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me and i will see you guys very soon bye I can control myself.